Alright, we got something interesting here today. Finally picked one up. ASP Heavy Hauler. Ordered it on September 5th, I think. Not a bad box, really. At the top of it, for privacy reasons, but otherwise, not a bad box. Go through everything in just a second here. Went ahead and got the mic with it also. Set of ignition keys, and I just read in the instructions, it says not to lose these. They are keyed to this box. Um, the USB cables in the back of the box. It sends you a nice little piece of paper. Got a lot of instructions on it. USB, back of the box. I got the vase amount, uh, 100 by 100. And I got a little, this one's custom. I got the standard one, which uh, I'm getting right now. Now, for anybody that does watch this video, here's what I'll, here's what I'll say. This is the standard one. Minus the FTG logo. Not affiliated with him anyway, just like his content. So that's the person I chose to get on on this when I ordered it. But uh, this is the standard one. I ordered that one after the fact because I decided that I wanted to change a few things. If you're going to do that, uh, I recommend checking to make sure you don't want to change nothing because reordering that ended up costing me about an extra 20 bucks after shipping because you got to pay shipping twice. Here's where we're at on this. Uh, we'll, go, uh, we'll go across here. Okay, yes. Thank you. Ignition key, horn, simple enough. Lights, uh, which is just a, a rotary switch. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Five position rotary switch, cruise plus or minus. You know, quick style, engine brake plus or minus. It is a quick style also. Horn button, display, wipers. That's easy enough, obviously. Map. Uh, that's a custom button. I wanted that map button so I didn't have to hit M on the keyboard every time. Uh, I got a toggle switch to turn my beacons on and just an accessory. I don't know what I'm going to map that to yet. Um, diff lock. You know, I really like the quality of these switches. They feel real nice for what it is. I mean, this was an expensive box. This thing cost me almost 300 bucks. High beams. Uh, engine brake toggle on and off, then hazards, and then this is a little special here. Obviously in ATS, for people that do play ATS, you know that there's not a drop air. But in a semi, you drop the air. Uh, learned a lot from truck driver, the place where I work, uh, teaching me things. That's one of the things he taught me. You drop the air when you back up to the trailer. So on the attached trailer key, I put drop air. I wanted the diff lock because I seem to use it. I wanted the trailer drop axle because all my ownable trailers have drop axles. This is a set to fuel. It's like an inner, so you push it and you don't have to hold it. Uh, this, I really like the hold to apply, push to release, parking brake, just like you do on a real semi. Overall, quality, looks nice, feels nice, minus a little bit of cat hair. That's for my cats. Uh, nice USB cable, in my opinion. Uh, not that my opinion would matter much on USB cables, because I don't know that much about them. Here's what it came packaged in. Uh, this was one piece wrapped around it. I cut it to get it out, because I didn't want to take a chance on breaking one of the back studs off. Let's open this CB up. I just got this this afternoon. I had some chores I had to do, couldn't get to it right away. So 
So I'm just now opening it up. Oh, cool. Feels real nice. Four pin connector. Plugs in right there. Now, what I like, if I get it to go, it's a little stiff, I'm sure, because it's new and it's not mounted in. She goes. Pops right on and off there. Now, this is your aux cable. You gotta use aux cable to convert it to the signal for the computer. So they do include an aux cable for you. Plug it into your microphone jack. Really nice piece, as far as the CB goes. Plastic, of course, but I wouldn't expect anything less at this point. Uh, as far as the box goes, haven't used it yet, obviously. Uh, heavier than I expected. Um, I guess that's all I can say about the weight. It's a little heavier than I expected. I'm going to vase them out. I hope to put it on the wall beside where it is, beside where my setup is, just for my computer, so I can... Uh, checking out these switches here, so that I can... Just reach over and pull it out when I want to play ATS. I like the feel of the toggle switches. To me, they feel like real toggle switches. I'm not going to open it, of course. But um, to change this, it's real simple. All you do, pull the trailer air supply and the part break off, and it is a magnetic face. Real simple. Uh, you can buy the additional face plates, like I said. So, really nice wood finish. I like that. Uh, stays in place good. I mean, it don't don't flop around. Um, rotary switches feel good. Those toggle switches feel real good. I mean, those feel exactly like what I got on my tractor for auxiliary lights. So those feel nice. Those look like mini toggle switches. I believe this is all uh, uh, good quality stuff. I don't see anything on the outside that would lead me to believe it's not. Uh, that's that's kind of my first take on this. Uh, that's the first impressions of it. Just unboxing it, checking it out. I uh, hope somebody finds some use in this, and uh, hopefully I'll get you some, uh, maybe I'll get you a picture of something when I get it mounted up here. i got to get my mount figured out. Uh, I think I'll just use a TV mount. That's kind of the reason I got that 100 by 100 base mount. Use a standard TV mount. Give me some washers. Probably got some washers in the garage. Just put right here, just so it's, you want to hold nice and sturdy. Got nice long bolts there to uh, mount it with on the vase mount. So I don't think it'll be a problem. I think it'll work out. It's just a matter of finding the stud, drilling holes, uh, starting the holes, and then getting the um, lag screws in the wall so that it won't fall off because you obviously don't want it to fall off. But uh, thanks for watching, and uh, y'all have a great night.